Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Doki Doki Literature Club. So, I've actually got... I've got my new headset now, and it sounds better to me. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but... Hopefully, it's a bit of an improvement. Anyway, I've got the house to myself for the next couple of days, which means I'll have plenty of time to record and edit and stuff, so... I might upload five videos a week instead of three for the next week or two, depending on how, how much I get done in the next few days. <laughs> That'd be nice. I, I think I'm getting a lot of Sayori and I'm nervous about that. Oh no. <laughs> How's this happening? I look up to see Natsuki next, next to me. Are you just gonna sit there and keep staring at nothing? There isn't that much time, so... Ah, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry or anything. It, it's not like I'm worried. I was just... Natsuki glances down at her side. She's holding a volume of manga in her hand. That's right. Something just came up for a minute, but we can get started now. I won't make you wait any longer. Jeez. Now you're making me feel like a jerk. If something's bothering you, then you can just tell me to leave you alone and I will. I mean, assuming you didn't feel like talking about it or anything. She practically mumbles that last part. Now I'm probably making it seem like a bigger deal than it is. I've just been thinking about Sayori, that's all. S Sayori? Thinking about her? Yeah, she seems pretty down today. But she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh. Natsuki exhales. Well, first of all, you should really work on your phrasing. But anyway, you're her best friend, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Then in that case, I think you should trust her a little more. If she needed you, then you would be the first person she would go to, right? Well, I guess that's true. I mean, some people just have those days. You can't always avoid it. If anything, she probably doesn't want you to worry about her because it's not important. Yeah, that's kind of what she said to me. Maybe it's not right for me to go against her wishes. Exactly. If she needs you to worry about her, then it'll be a lot more obvious. Yeah. I should have thought of it that way from the start. Nusky fiddles with the book she's holding in her hands. She... She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh... Don't get the wrong idea or anything. We've just been friends for a long time. It's normal to be worried about your friends. I mean, you were worried about me, so... I was not! Jeez, if you're fine, then let's hurry and get started already. Yeah, yeah. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye, eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Um, Natsuki, of course. Let's see, let's see. You're certainly enthusiastic today. Of course. You know I like your writing. I'm just surprised. It seemed like you had a lot of trouble admitting that before. Well, well, of course. I just had to put you in your place a little bit. It's not like... I mean, it's not like I was shy or anything stupid like that. Or jealous. I really wasn't jealous. Just because you happen to be a good writer? That's, a, that's such a dumb thing to get jealous about. <laughs> Natsuki. What? You're not very confident about your writing, are you? Eh? Huh? Wh what are you talking about? My writing is obviously the best. Right? It took me a while to figure out, but I think I finally did. Maybe Natsuki acts so arrogant because she's trying to make up for her own insecurities. If she acts like she's the best, then other people might think that way, too. Right? Ash? Please just tell me you like my poems. I don't care if you hate them. Just please tell me I'm the best. I just... I just really need to hear that from someone. 
I know I sound stupid, but there's a reason I never shared my poems before this. Natsuki. Because... Because nobody ever takes me seriously. What's the point in sharing my poems when people just laugh and say, That's so cute, just like you, Natsuki. Sometimes I don't want to be cute. But nobody understands that. I try really hard when I write. The style doesn't matter. The emotions are there. Why can't anyone see that? I just want... Natsuki trails off. Maybe it's because her lips started to quiver. I look down. Her fists are clenched really tightly. Hey, Natsuki. If you're not careful, you'll rip your own poem. I gently grab the poem with my own hand until she relaxes her grip on it. I place it flat on the desk and smooth out the wrinkles that she put into it. D don't read it! Before I can pick it back up, Natsuki snatches the poem up from the desk. It's not any good. And I know you hate my poems. So you don't have to read this one, okay? But I want to read it. Why? Because. I like your poems. I really do. Why would I judge you for your style? It's not like my own style is anything crazy. I mean, it's true that the first time I read one of your poems, I didn't look much into it. But I know you better now. And it's wrong for Yuri to think that your style is more amateur than hers. And so you're right, she always means well. But sometimes she's so focused on simple happiness that she doesn't understand what people really want. Yeah, I guess I never really thought about how hard it is for you. And I'm sorry if I was part of that problem. I understand now. You're not just cute, you're a lot more than that. Uh, Natsuki, you're doing it again. Once again, Natsuki clutches her poem a little too hard. She looks down, hiding her eyes from me. I never realized how difficult this was for her. But finally, she forces herself to extend her arms and set her poem on the table. You can read it. Just turn that way. I don't want you to look at my face right now. Okay, I will. Oh, this is gonna be really cute. Because you. Tomorrow will be brighter with me around, but when today is dim, I can only look down. My looking is a little more forward because you look at me. When I want to say something, I say it with a shout, but my truest feelings can never come out. My words are a little less empty because you listen to me. When something is above me, I reach for the stars, but when I feel small, I don't get very far. My standing is a little bit taller because you sit with me. I believe in myself with all of my heart, but what do I do when it's all torn all apart? My faith is a little bit stronger because you trusted me. My pen always puts my feelings to the test. I'm not a good writer, but my best is my best. My poems are a little bit dearer because you think of me. Because you, because you, because you. That's really cute. I love that. Aww. I like Natsuki a lot. She's a good girl. So far. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? If you don't like it, then just say it. I won't get mad. No, it's not that I don't like it. I, it was just a little surprising to read. Uh, I guess I'm not used to hearing such nice things coming from you. Uh, don't just say that, dummy. What do you think the point of writing is? Expressing things that you can't just say. Yeah, I understand. I'm sorry for missing the point sometimes. I always mean well. And I'm happy that you showed this to me. I liked it. Well, yeah. I'm- I'm a pro, so... Natsuki mumbles, completely failing to c sound confident like she usually does. Just... Remember that I can think these things sometimes, too. You know, when you're nice to me, it's... Meaningful. That's a cute face. I don't know if I've seen her make that face before. With her little pointy teeth sticking out. Uh, I'm glad. Sensing Natsuki is satisfied, I start to hand the poem back to her. She's gonna say we can keep it. But as I do so, Natsuki takes my hands and pushes them back away. Her small, soft hands surprise me with their assertion. I don't want it. Huh? Why not? I just don't. Jeez. I realize what Natsuki is doing. Unable to be honest, she's trying to give me the poem in a roundabout way. Well, in that case, I'm going to keep it. Instead of teasing her, I choose to go along with it. Good. If you didn't, I would... Never mind. Just, I'm glad that you want it. Natsuki backpedals on her words and leaves it at that. Despite her best efforts to hide her expression, I can see her faintly smiling to herself. 
That's all for now, so... Go put it away before someone sees it, okay? Uh, yeah. I'll go do that. With that, I return to my seat so I can put away Natsuki's poem. Um, Sayori, because she's very sad today. Hmm. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Yep, same thing she said on Yuri's route. Probably Natsuki. Huh? I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Ash. Sayori. Is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. Heh <laughs> Alright. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayori? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. Um, how about Yuri? Yuri doesn't look too enthusiastic about spending time with me. Yeah, we aren't on good terms right now. I guess if she changes her mind, she'll come to me. But I should leave her be for now. Uh, how you doing, Monica? Hi, Ash! Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people... I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Sticking with the Natsuki style once more, I see. Huh. You really like Natsuki, don't you? Uh, that's... Oh, come on, Ash. It's awfully suspicious, you know. Spending time with her in the club room every day. Pretending to like the manga that she's into. Y you know how Natsuki is. If I don't indulge her, she'll end up hating me. I hope Natsuki's not listening to this. Eh? No, I think you're misunderstanding, Ash. It's not like Natsuki just hates anyone who doesn't give her what she wants. Yeah, she's assertive, but she's not that selfish. In fact, I think you're the only one who's indulged her as much as you have. Is that so? I kind of knew that, but I just didn't want to admit it. So I just need to ask one thing of you. Be careful, please. Natsuki is kind of unpredictable. What what is going to go wrong in Natsuki's route? I I would need to know. A lot of times she doesn't even know what she wants. After all, she's the youngest one here. She might not know how to handle her own feelings properly. What I'm saying is, if something bad happens, then it can end up damaging the club too. And you wouldn't do that to me, right? That's... I'm not sure how to respond to Monica. I'm not either. While I care about her in the club, it's also kind of unfair to bring that up. Well, you're smart. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Monica smiles sweetly. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Uh, alright. And this is the same poem we've seen, like, three, four times now. Alright, I'm picking who to, who to help with the festival preparations, and I'm going to help Natsuki bake some cupcakes. Well, baking sounds like it could be fun. And you guys might sound like a lot of work, so it could probably use two people. Don't worry! Baking is a ton of fun! You'll definitely agree. I already agree. Eh? Just a minute ago you were saying that... Th that's because... Never mind, okay? Well, anyway, you'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it, after all. That's good. Even though Yuri's being melodramatic, it's a little hard not to feel bad. So that's everything, right? Anything else we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes! Everything except the performance is gonna be awesome! Oh man, I feel that same way. 
but performing is not my strong suit. I don't know how I started a Let's Play channel. I don't know why I decided to torture myself like this, but I'm doing it. <laughs> I don't think that really counts. What about you, Ash? Me? I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still sulking. Oh, I'm suddenly concerned that Yuri is going to kill Natsuki. Because <laughs> Yuri, aside from Monica, Yuri definitely has the most violent tendencies, I'll say. I don't know enough about Natsuki yet. She seems very normal so far still. But I don't know. Natsuki starts pouting too. It's not... I mean, it's not that big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not be just that. Hmm? I think the Yuri might just be feeling a little underappreciated in general. Having to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offering to help. That doesn't mean... Ugh. Natsuki glances back and forth between everyone with a worried expression. Look. Natsuki goes over and puts her hands down on Yuri's shoulders. Yuri! You really are the most talented one here. And... And you're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a lot too. But you're going to make the atmosphere special. That'll be really important for the way that people feel during the performances. So... You need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. Natsuki releases her hands and turns around to face the other direction. You didn't really mean that, did you? Um... N not really, but... Yuri isn't the only one surprised. Monica and, I are also, or Monica and I are also taken aback by Natsuki's words. Natsuki of all people to be saying such encouraging things. But I begin to understand. Natsuki was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And all of us are going to make it a really great event. Yeah. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm staying here a bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today, so... Fair enough, there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Yuri out the door as they chat between each other. Um, where are you going? Huh? We still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. You literally would have gotten home and realized that you didn't even have a way to contact me. Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? You'd better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? Huh. Natsuki gives me her number. Okay. I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait. You're coming to my house? Do I even have a, an oven? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like, I could have a guy over my house. Oh, yeah, you have, like, problems with your dad? Parent? Parents? My dad would kill me. I, I worry that you mean that literally. <laughs> really? That's kind of strict if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? I can't do anything when my dad is home. Anyway, I just need to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I needed from you. I guess I'll text you I'm coming over. Alright, fine by me. Yeah. I'm really gonna show you why I love baking so much. So you'd better look forward to it. Oh? Didn't you say you were just going to give me the dirty work? Well, I was just saying that. It's not like I could act, like, in front of everyone that I was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of. Just because I never got to bake with someone else before. That's all it is, so... Alright, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. Uh... Never mind. I can't believe this. Natsuki's going to be coming over to my house on Sunday? My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. There's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. 
More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off of it. I seriously can't wait. Alright, and I'm gonna stop here. This might be a bit of a shorter episode, I'm not sure, because, um... I want to make sure that the the quality, the sound quality is good. I don't want to record for like two hours only to find out that the sound quality is awful. <laughs> so, woo, we're going to spend some time with Natsuki next. Hopefully things go okay. I think they will. I mean, it's not until after Siori hangs herself that things start getting really messed up. So it should be all right for this weekend. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.